in this lecture address futures markets of india the overview of futures market uh, in india i will address the history regulating authority exchange rate under which it is available, available and number of uh, commodities very very specific, specifically uh, focusing on commodity futures commodity market i will uh, learn in the half an hour that i am going to take a lecture in this slide friends a futures market is an action market in which participants can buy and sell specific quantities of a commodity or financial instrument at specified price with delivery at a specified time in the future and this futures market in india is centralized marketplace for buyer and seller so from around the world who meets and enter the commodity futures market which is a large market for buyer and seller in india most of the other it is also most electronic market like other markets as you seen in the other this the main purpose of using futures market here is to reduce or to avoid market volatility very importantly so market volatility in the commodities and in the stock and in the exchange or whatever to reduce very importantly market volatility here these producers and suppliers negotiate contracts with an investor who agrees to take on both the risk and reward of the volatility volatile market in this futures market the primary advantage of futures is that it allows individuals and business to protect their position against the price fluctuation it means the price volatility to avoid price volatility and the pricing of futures market is based on mostly open outcry system as we are using earlier this and bids bidding on the uh, goods and mostly it is uh, matched with electronically electronical matching since it is uh, traded in exchange it will match electronically so futures market contract uh, in the commodity market it is also similar to equity derivative segment where you will find uh, speculation hedging arbitrage in a, for all class uh, investor which means you in the uh, futures contract also you can enjoy the hedging opportunity speculation opportunity and arbitrage on your contract looking to the structure of commodity futures market in india so commodity futures market are regulated by ministry of consumer affairs ministry of consumer affairs it is controlled by ministry of consumer affairs under that forward market commission is regulating the futures commodity market okay under uh, forward market commission are regulating commodity exchange under commodity exchange we have two uh, exchanges uh, that is the uh, exchanges established in uh, national context and exchanges established in regional context these are very important exchanges which are working in the futures commodity that is national commodity and derivative exchange and multi commodity exchange and national commodity exchange coming to regional exchanges there are 20 other regional exchanges and national board of trade is very important very significant have a playing a significant role in regional exchanges along with that 20 other regional exchanges also playing a role in uh, that uh, working under the commodity exchange so the highest authority in commodity regulator is the ministry of consumer affairs and uh, regulator is forward market commission forward market commission and commodity exchanges we have seg uh, segregated into two that is national exchanges and regional exchanges moving further to types of futures market in india there are two distinct form of commodity market in the futures market namely as you know over the counter market otc so here in otc people are restricted for only commodity so restricted people who are involved in trading is restricted to commodity only and one more one more thing you should understand your you 
OTC markets are essentially spot markets. The, the, it means they are localized, localized uh, for specific commodity, not available for all commodity. To fulfill the local needs, they have they have established so that they are essentially a spot markets. And if you go to the settlement case in case of uh, OTC, almost all trading taking place in these markets is delivery based. Direct physical delivery is taking place in case of OTC. And OTC can also be referred as trade via dealer. Simple, you, can, you will trade with the dealer. And network is generally decentralized, not centralized. Some person is not going to regulate you yeah, it is decentralized in the nature coming to other types of uh, futures market that is exchange based market so this uh, exchange traded markets are only derivative market derivatives market which means uh, standardized uh, which is uh, only exchanges are uh, for uh, people who trade uh, with license and it is a uh, centralized regulating authority so in the exchange trade everything is standardized everything is standardized and which guarantees that the compliance with terms of trade very very important the compliance of terms of trade For example after three months only the delivery will be given and there is a margin system rolling out system and m2m concept and most and everything will be based on terms of trade very important terms of trade and hence uh, party counterparty risk is where uh, there, uh, there are sometimes there is no counterparty risk or the counterparty risk is low in case of exchange mar based market as we said you already you will keep some margin in case of exchange margin so since margin if you deposit in margin a person can purchase a contract by paying only a percentage of the contract value not it's a fraction deposit or the contract value say for example you are buying a 1 lakh rupees worth of 1 lakh rupees uh, stock commodity or whatever but you are paying only margin money it, it could be 11% only 11% means 11,000 you are paying that's a fraction percentage of contract value so that uh, you will enjoy the full advantage of buying uh, worth of 1 lakh rupees uh, goods or com uh, commodity just by paying percentage of contract value this is very important thing the advantage in here in this case and one more thing in exchange transaction exchange transaction are completed through centralized sources it is not decentralized there is a centralized uh, sources called uh, clearing house and uh, which will be completed through which so in this way there are two types of futures market one is otc one more is exchange based market so moving further let us know who are the participants in futures market who the the people who are participating in this market let us come to know this and and as we know an efficient market for commodity futures whatever the market requires a large number of market participants the yeah, large when the person there are the more competition the more number of person so the quality of the things will improve and with the diverse risk profile the, we need such people who are as a participant so such kind of market participants can be broadly divided into scalper or day traders hedgers speculators arbitragers aggregate aggregators position traders brokers exchange and regulators are very important participants in futures market let us understand what is scalpers day traders and all the scalpers or day traders are those who participate who take position in the futures contract for a single day and liquidate them prior to close of the same trading day that's a scalper and that means within a day who is going to trade would be termed as day traders or scalpers it means the scalpers have the shortest time horizon 
and uh, they hold their position for a few minutes while the day traders close their position before the end of each trading day both scalpers and tra day traders intention is to uh, they will attempt to make a profit and hedgers are generally the commercial producers and consumers of the traded commodities they they usually uh, like to reduce the risk by pay by fencing their security by limiting their profit by limiting their loss they will trade they participate in the futures market to manage their spot market risk it allows them to hedge or protect themselves against the risk of losses from fluctuating prices so that's why hedger won't expect much profit they will, they are thinking limited profit and limited loss also and speculators are traders who speculate the, the, on the direction of the future prices with the intention of making money their intention is to change the direction of the futures market and their intention is to make the money these speculators do not prefer for physical delivery or else delivery they do not prefer for delivery they want to make money more importantly they will liquidate their contract before expiry of the contract and arbitrages are the traders who buy and sell to make money on prices differentials across different market they want to take advantages of two different market say for example in nsc or bsc uh, a stock is listed in both nsc and bsc assume they want to buy from nsc and they want to sell at bsc so that they got a two market uh, that minor price discrepancy they will take that is a arbitrages and the role of aggregators brings liquidity in the futures market and help farmers to benefit from price discovery and price risk management usually aggregators are allowed to collect commodities from uh, farmers and sell in the futures market it means aggregators have direct contra contact with farmers aggregators means aggregate the commodity by collecting from the farmers and position traders maintain overnight positions which may run into weeks or even months in the anticipation of favorable movement in the commodity futures prices they may hold position in which they may they run huge risks also and may also earn big profits it means they are ready to wait for longer very very longer they may, they will seek for right position in this process they can also lose huge money also they can earn big profit and one more is brokers they are they typically act as intermediaries and facilitate hedgers and speculator they are there for facilitating hedgers and speculators a commodity broker is a firm or a individual who act as intermediaries between buying and selling commodity contracts on behalf of clients so they will facilitate for the clients to buy or sell the commodity or whatsoever and the last participant is a exchange or regulator so exchange is a central place that a physical or virtual where market participants trade standardized futures contract that's very simple and the regulators oversees the working of exchange that is how that uh, the uh, participant uh, works in the uh, futures market these are uh, participant and uh, with their right explanation then moving further let us know the exchanges list of exchanges how many exchanges are there in uh, futures market in the exchange there are two types of exchange as i said you already one is national commodity national in the national importance and other regional commodity so here before the introduction of national commodity futures there were 24 regional ex commodity exchanges in india but the regional exchanges are commodity specific and most catered to the needs of local area just like otc such as bikaner commodity exchange limited for trading in gar seed okay the, but currently what happened to the exchange is almost all of the regional exchanges are on the verge of closure due to uh, that uh, bad working nature or there uh, the growth of national commodity futures 
the regional commodity few, uh, commodity exchanges are going to closer look at this fact almost 17 out of 10 24 registered uh, regional exchanges have not traded for fa pa past 5 years in the past 5 years 17 regional exchanges have not traded and 13 of them have not carried out uh, trading 10 years in the last 10 years the 13 exchanges have not even carried a trading history so currently there are 17 regional exchanges and 6 national 17 recognized exchanges are there out of that 6 national exchanges and 11 regional exchanges whatever the regional exchanges the bulk of trading that is 99.88% is concentrated in 6 national uh, level commodity exchanges that is uh, you, we have 6 national level exchanges uh, in the 6 national exchanges almost 99.88% only 0.12% are trading in 11 regional exchanges let us know what are those exchanges these are uh, any exchanges uh, identified by, by forward market commission uh, and uh, I have given a code for exchanges A and B. A are national multi commodity exchanges. B are commodity specific regional exchanges. It is a commodity oriented and in the national commodity exchanges are uh, include all types of commodity. I, as I said to you these six exchanges are carrying almost 99.88% of overall trading in the commodity exchange. So these are very important. These six are you can uh, take note of this. And looking to another angle of futures co contract in India, we can uh, tra tra trace the history of uh, uh, futures contract in India. So the long experience gained by India is regard to commodity derivatives very importantly. They have two folds. One is pre-independence era and post-independence era. Here only few important things I have tried to list out and you can go in detail. Let us look into the pre-independence era. Pre-independent era means before independence. It means before 19. 47. In the pre-independence era, first commodity exchange was set up in India was Bombay Cotton Trade Association Limited. So, and formal organized futures trading started in cotton in 1875 when the BSE has started in the Dalal State, Bombay. This also in the futures contract also started in India which is formally organized future trading in cotton in 1875. So after that subsequently many exchanges came up with the different parts of country on future trade on various commodity, gar, potato, onion, whatever on various commodity. At the end of 18th, 18th century, Gujarati Vyapari Mandali came into existence in 19th 1900 which has undertaken future trade in oil seeds uh, first time in the history in the in the history of the country uh, in the oil seed the Gujarati Vyapare Mandali in uh, 1900 1900 they have undertaken future trade in oil seeds and moving further Hapur wheat futures set up in 1913 and and Kolkata Hessian Exchange Limited and East India Jute Association Limited and so many exchanges uh, started establishing in the few commodity and futures contract. Very importantly, the uh, futures in gold and silver began in uh, Mumbai in 1920 and continued until the prohibition of by the government. In 1950, the trading of silver and gold prohibited by the government of India. Until then, the futures in gold and silver was trading. So these are brief history of pre-independence era of a futures contract. Let us move into the post-independence era. Most of the activities taken place in post-independence era only. So regulating commission came to existence, many prohibition uh, taken over and many things happened after independence. 
so after independence forward market commission uh, on the basis of recommendation of forward market commission future trading were initiated in 60 diverse commodity so and started trading in recognized association recognized in the few recognized association 16 number 16 numbers 16 diverse commodity started trading for uh, government for government of india forward market commission refer recommended to make a trading in this due to this action total number of commodities traded in india moved to 50 to 30 50 and 30 where a number of association uh, the number in a uh, moved to 50 and 30 the whole commodity is 50 and number of association 30 moved from the earlier uh, numbers and also as we said you the government of india withdraw that ban on futures with passage of foreign currency regulating act in 1952 so this is a very important segment and milestone in indian futures commodity market very very important is in the post independence the indian constitution listed the subject of stock exchange and futures market under the union list so it came to the compact of uh, uh, central government then the improvements taken back to back and uh, moving further after liberalization it means in 1991 an expert committee formed for forward markets and under the chairmanship of professor k n kabra was appointed uh, in the, by the government of india in 1993 to, uh, to relook the necessity of commodity futures in Indian economy. To relook the necessity of commodity futures in Indian economy. And Cabra Committee in the 1994 recommended reintroduction of futures market were banned in 1952 and 1966. Banned that must be reintroduced as per the recommendation of Cabra Committee which is submitted is, uh, their, their report in 1994 and also widened its coverage to many more agricultural commodity, silver and also upgradation of existing commodity exchanges to facilitate futures trading to the international level. Very very importantly Cabra Committee is very important in futures market to upgrade the futures market to reintroduce the commodity and uh, to take back the ban on some commodities in india okay from this a very important milestone in indian futures market so by this way we have listed few of the history after post independence uh, in the futures market let us move to the another topic uh, in a futures market in India, uh, the regulation of commodity futures market in India. Who is going to regulate the futures market in India? As we know very well, the Forward Market Commission, FMC, Forward Market Commission is the regulatory authority for the commodity futures market in India, very importantly and uh, it is equivalent to the security exchange board of india sebi it is equivalent to sebi also so which regulate uh, sebi regulates equity markets in india and more importantly fmc that is forward market commission have been merged with sebi so why fmc merged with sebi means the need for regulation arises on account of the fact that benefits of futures market accrue in competitive condition to make more competitive condition fmc merged with sebi and now it is trading in the forward market commission as now came under security exchange board of india commodity segment under the commodity segment fmc is regulating the commodity commodity segment and commodity futures contract and the commodity exchanges are regulated by the government of india uh, under the forward contracts regulation act the what that commodity futures contract and commodity exchanges uh, the whole uh, regional uh, the 11 re regional and uh, six national all ex commodity exchanges are governed governed by regulated by government of india under the act forward contracts act 1952 so government of india made a noodle agency to regulate futures market and is the forward market commission made a noodle agency which is situated in Mumbai which functions under the AG's 
the Ministry of Corporate Aff uh, Consumer Affairs. Ministry of Consumer Affairs, as I said you already. Along with that, commodities in India have always been regulated through various legislation. Forward Contract Regulation Act 1952, Essential Commodity Act 1955, and Prevention of Black Marketing and Maintenance of Supplies of Commodity Act 1980, and so many uh, le legislation are regulating commodity market in India. So thank you so much. I try to make, give um, most of the facts and uh, our futures market in India with specifically reference to commodity market. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my Vision Academy YouTube channel.